From your favorite dietitian, everything you need to digest in your mind. Tips, tips, tips with Tony. Tips, tips, tips with Tony. Making you healthier one bite at a time. Tips with Tony. Tips with Tony. Tips with Tony. Hello, and welcome to the Tips with Tony podcast. I'm Tony Marinucci, your registered dietitian helping you get healthy one bite at a time. Are you on a health journey and the scale won't budge? Although the scale can be one form of measurement to assess if you're on track with your goals, it is not the only one. Our body weight fluctuates day to day and week to week and month to month based off a variety of reasons. Some can't even be explained. This can be really frustrating, especially when you think you did everything right and are expecting that number, a certain number in your head, and then you get on the scale and... What? You're up a pound? Before you get discouraged and decide to throw in the towel, let's see and explore together if there's other ways you can celebrate your efforts. I'm going to go through eight things you can do to track your progress other than using the scale. Number one, celebrate saying no thank you to temptation. You're trying to resist junk food and you're at work and your coworkers, they're not on the same plan as you. They offer you candy and chocolate so you politely refuse. The old you would have indulged because one piece of candy or chocolate usually leads to another. And because you said no thank you, you avoided that roller coaster. That is a huge step in the right direction and definitely something to be celebrated. Number two, celebrate getting back on track in the moment. So going back to that work situation, maybe you do give in this time, and unfortunately, that one piece of chocolate does lead to another and then another. However, this time, you don't allow it to ruin your healthy dinner plans, and since you overdid it on the sweets at work, you decide to skip dessert tonight and you decide to have a small piece of fruit or maybe like a decaf tea instead. Number three, celebrate being kind to yourself. In addition to putting action forward to picking yourself up Picking yourself back up after going off track, you've mentally decided to forgive yourself and remind yourself that you're human and that everything cannot be perfect all of the time. Since you're working on loving yourself and improving your overall health, you kindly talk yourself into finding a new solution going forward. Number four, celebrate drinking less empty calories. Soda, juice, sweetened teas, and frappuccinos. These are all beverages that can provide calories but lack nutrients. Therefore, the only reason behind drinking them is the immediate satisfaction of taste. And the more we satisfy our sweet tooth with empty calorie beverages, the more we want to drink them. Cutting back on sweetened beverages creates an opportunity for you to consume more nutrient-dense foods and water. Usually cutting back on sweetened beverages, you don't see an automatic decline on the scale, but over a year time, studies have shown that people who go from drinking regular regular soda and cutting it out of their diet completely, in a year later, they're nine pounds lighter than from that year. So it might not be an immediate decline, but I tr- but trust when I say it is adding up. Number five, making healthy swaps at a restaurant. I think this is key for the person who eats really well during the week and on the weekend when they go out to eat, they might not they might go off track. So using healthy swaps at a restaurant and getting through those moments that are usually your weak moments, another thing to celebrate. So the waiter comes to your table, takes your order, and even though you really, really, really want the chicken parmesan with the pasta, <laughs> you ask, I would like the chicken parmesan, but instead of pasta, I'd like to substitute it for steamed broccoli. Oh, and you can please take the bread off the table. I don't want to be tempted to eat it. Thank you. Chances are (laughs) the portions at the restaurant are larger than the proper size. And even though that option is fried, you still made small adjustments, which eventually will lead to big results. Number six, check your body fat. You may want to invest in a fat loss monitor because even when the scale does not move, your fat to muscle ratio might, depending on your exercise regimen. Most of our organs and tissue require muscle support to, for them to work optimally. So I recommend tracking your body fat in addition to your body weight. On average, a healthy body fat range for women is 21 to 36% and 8 to 25% for men, respectively. 
This range varies slightly depending on age. Number seven, how do your clothes fit? Our body fat distributes as we change our eating patterns, and believe it or not, where we carry excess fat can dictate our health for better or for worse. When we carry weight closer to the heart, so higher up on the tummy, we're at a greater risk for heart disease. So if you notice that the belly fat is going down in that area and it's moving closer to your hips, then that's actually something to celebrate. Number eight. Notice improved energy and mood. So regardless of what the scale says, if you notice that you're sleeping better, you're happier, you're overall in a much better mood than usual, you're making efforts to take care of yourself and no longer making excuses, making changes in your diet, how we feel matters most. So do not let the scale dictate otherwise. If you did not hit your target using the eight ways that I've just explained, then there are two things probably happening. One, you're not letting enough time pass or you're not doing what I just talked about enough or often enough. You have to remember that consistency over time leads, leads to big results. So be patient and keep trying. Number two, You may not be going about achieving your goals in the most effective way. If that's the case, then reach out to myself, Tony, (laughs) your nutrition professional, registered dietitian, or someone in your area that can help you. Feel free to send me an email, tipswithtony at gmail.com, and maybe we can figure out something to keep you motivated and on track, other than using the scale, and just assess how healthy you actually are. If you have questions or you have any suggestions for future episodes, you can send me an email at tipswithtony at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, Tips with Tony. That's Tony with an I. And don't forget to, if if you like to, write a review and give this a nice high rating if you enjoyed the podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Once again, this is Tony Marinucci, your registered dietitian, helping you get healthy one bite at a time.